There we go. Now the button's in the right place. Hello again, everyone. This is your Black Knight. And last night, which is a Thursday evening, I was doing some Arena War stuff. And in between, while waiting for things to load back and forth, I pondered about the existence of the next DLC, which, considering that this event week had been pushed out to Tuesday, seemed like it would be on Tuesday. Well, now they've announced it's going to be on Tuesday. And a couple of the things that I guessed at turned out to be right. They are not doing a cops versus criminals kind of thing. <clears throat> they are going to give us the open wheel editor, and they're going to give us another a couple more open wheel cars, and a bunch of cars, and we got some more adversary modes involving the yacht and the casino. Kind of a smaller update, and I have no issues with that. Content is content, but they're not doing cops versus crooks. Okay, that's probably a good thing in the current climate. Thankfully, they're not doing any kind of special take on uh, on human trafficking. Although, I guess you could probably do some kind of artistic piece about that, where you made it really horrific and then made people disgusted by it and then made them realize how bad things were. But, and, you know, there's a certain element of desensitizing people to it, too, and we don't want any of that. So I'm glad they're not doing any of that. But the only thing that has been made clear is that I need more garage space. Garage space is a critical thing. I don't want to give up this six-car garage for a ten spot, even though that would be a quick four spots, because they do like having this apartment up here on this end of the map. It does lend itself to some usefulness. So, what do we keep? What do we get rid of? I mean, the hot rod is kind of neat looking, but I'm never going to use it. And it's not like it's got any kind of special... I got that on sale, I think. It does look cool. So, I mean, we can maybe think about that. Do I really need two kind of rusty off-roaders? Given the choice of taking out the, the rebel and the injection... Probably taking the injection, not the rebel, the rusty rebel. If I'm taking anything out, really, if I'm going off roading, I got a Camacho. I mean, really. So, and this is just, of course, because I captured it from a Meriwether. One of these I'm going to repaint. So, this one might get the, the wild paint job. So, I think, just to kick things off here. Now, this is one of the first cars I actually kind of wanted. Is you know, getting a. A beater off-roader to, to, to beat around off-road with the ripped lady all seats and the goodness and old soda in the thing. But, you know, I, I never drive this. Should we take it up Chiliad before I get rid of it? That's a thought. Because, you know, it's just a matter of what do you really want the space for. And there's, you know... I don't know what the one supercar they're going to release is, but, you know, whether, is that going to be the new fastest? Is it going to be just something that makes precious little sense to own? Or? But I do know that they, they've revealed they're going to bring out a super bird. I guess they'll call it a super dukes or something like that. My real, real hope, though. Oh, there's a train. My real, real hope is that they bring out the fortune. They're talking about having more Benny's stuff. And the fortune, and you could have that as a Benny's car, turn it into a stock car race or something like that, or even a lowrider. That would work. You know, that's the fortune being, of course, the 90s Thunderbird that I actually drive in real life. So I have lots of hope that there's going to be, apparently there's going to be a lot of cars running. So, that means we need to get rid of some things. And, I, you know, this is not like a Rusty Rebel would be hard to come by. It's not like this is going to be something that I'm going to have trouble replacing if, uh, if I liquidate it. And what we're going to do is we're going to try, try the Bruffy line here in a Rusty Rebel. Come on, slide out. I'm trying to use the whole handbrake thing, it's not even going to spin around here. Come on. Rusty Rebel. Fear wheel drive here going up the, uh, up the, the hot lap route. All right, we turn it. We're sliding, we're hitting trees. Okay, that was not how you do the hot lap route. Um, let's see, can we just take it from here? Hitting more trees. 
Come on, vehicle. I want to give you one more epic moment. Let's go up this, up there, up in the air a little bit. It's got four wheel drive. I'm sure it's got traction. Does it have enough power? I'm thinking not. This, of course, is practice for the one day when I'm actually in a G-Fred. If I pick up a rusty rebel, can it do this? I'm thinking, it's a four-wheel drive! It can go up anything! No, no, not really. You'll notice that the, the tread on the off-roaders has been converted to the new style. Not mutters, but just off-roaders kind of tread. Come on. Keep it going now. We have to S this up. I have to go back and forth. Oh, it does not want to do it. Okay, so in case you're curious, the, uh, a rusty rebel cannot do the hot lap at all. No, you can't do it. If you don't know what a G Fred is, I'm really very sorry. It has. It has the awesomeness. If you're playing GTA and you don't know what a G-Fred is, Google it. You won't be sorry. I could explain, but I think it's more effective if you look it up yourself. I think we'll take this back to our own garage before we try to sell it for... It's not going to be much anyway. Now, conversely, I think I have gotten the ejection up. The, uh, another train. Let's race the train. Yeah, we're racing the train. Give me a bump. Give me a boost. I'm training myself to go faster. That wasn't even that much of a boop. Whee! Cool. So yeah, there's, it's going to be kind of a nice little smaller update, but with cars. I mean, it's going to be all kinds of, you know, it looks like there's a new Formula 1 or Formula E uh, kind of thing out there. Promise of new open-wheel tracks. Now, I thought that, you know, the open wheel racing with the, uh, the tire wear and everything else, that would be, I missed my own garage, that was going to be the new standard for racing. That's why we did with the, the tracks themselves. Not, they're painful. That's what they, what they are. They're painful tracks. So if these tracks are less painful, not even not painful, but less painful, that, that could be good enough. All right, it's fixed up. Let's look at the thing. Is this even insured? Where's the button? There we go. Yeah, it's insured. Karen Rusty Rebel. Anything here not insured? Insured, insured, insured. That's the charge is purchased, insured. You pull it out. And one less car in the garage. It's Sorry, Rusty Rebel. You know what? I always I always liked the look of you. I thought you fit well in the location, but it's just we never bonded. We never we never had that moment where it's like, yes, you know, if we did, it's in the video somewhere and that's great. But for right now, I'm thinking that there's other things. There's other things I might want to put up here. Someone else will enjoy you more, or actually you'll just be dissolved in pickles, what but it's... Did you want me to perform? I want you to make it disappear. 40,000, that's actually not too bad. More than I thought I was going to get vehicle sold. And now I've got to wait like another 20 minutes to sell anything else, so we can at least ponder... ...some of the other vehicles here. Let us call the mechanic.
something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. Let's see, is it this one? Yeah. It's a mace of the Kamaja of the injection. Call me it's up the injection. There we go. Still in Steelers colors back from the days when I did that, although it is a bumblebee to get it. It's, this has transformery kind of stuff written all over, doesn't it? It's just so much potential. That is a lot zippier. And now just just because we talked about taking it up, shit, yeah, now I think we gotta do it. It's the here comes the train again. Falling on my head like a tragedy. Um Yeah, so you know, again, new no cops, no prims. But they, it looks like it actually could just be a good bit of fun. I'm not overly interested in the adversary modes, but on the plus side, there's nothing really other than buying cars to invest in. There's no businesses, there's no... Here's 20 million to get involved, it's just new games to play. You want to buy a car? Buy a car. You don't want to buy a car? Don't buy the car. You can still probably call them up in races, and you know, regular races at least. Try them out. Take him down Sonora Freeway. Alright, that some of that was my fault. I admit. Didn't take the right line there. But I still think this puppy, if I don't kill it, can do this. So the normal line we take it up here, up this way. Pretend you're bruffy. Up through here. Now you think two-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive, this should suffer more. It shouldn't do as well. But, you know, I think it does have... It is an off-roader, so it does have traction. And it has significantly more power. Come on, momentum. That's what this is all about. The big mo. Already got further than the rusty rebel. Oh, that bounce. Oh, that bounce might not have been good. Another bounce. Uh, it's all about going up. Yes. Excuse me. You guys are like so in the way. And actual G Fred, they would have probably not survived that experience. I wonder if these trails actually exist somewhere in California. Look at this a thing. Look at this thing go. And if you're doing a G-Fred properly... Up here... I'm quite the wrong way, but yeah, I could have... Yeah, I could have gotten the... Uh, oh dear. Yeah, well, we went down wrong, though. That was bad. Stop it. Save it. Okay. Not stuck. Now the injection... Let's say we didn't get the... Uh, the checkpoint on a G Fred, and then we just went up here. Okay, let's let's try. I know the angle. Again, someday, someday. It doesn't want to do that. You have to get that with some momentum, I guess. Go all the way over this way. I mean, people struggle with this all the time, anyway. But that's the right angle. Bang! That would have gotten it. We can almost get up there. But. Now we'll go back down. 
again, trying to do the proper G Fred lines here. Remember me? Oh, hard on the brakes here. The brakes are not. And then let's see, I believe. I think you want to go up this far. No, it's down this way now. This is, you know, kind of more of a speed kind of thing here. If you want, you can go down the safe way. You can throw caution to the wind as I am. Whee! Now, I do have armor. By the way, that's not good. Oh, I was stuck in the trees. Normally, this is a G-Fred catastrophe. You can't get out. You can't get out. Now, I can get this out because I'm not limited by G-Fred rules. But. Whoa, we did it. We got it out naturally. All right. That's still uh, you know, going down, G. Fred. Uh, going down, Chiliad catastrophe here. We can do this much faster. Obviously, I'm not any good at it. But this is just training. This is like you know, Sylvester Stallone eating all those eggs. You know, it's. There goes my door. My door was getting down there faster than I did. Stick it to the left. Normally you'd go up the train tracks, but we've got other places to be. Still, I would definitely, if ever faced, with G. Fred trials. I mean, I should really try it with a stock injection. The stock injection might not do as well. Truth be told, but this one's turboed and armored. And I, I've bonded more with the injection than I ever have with the Rusty Rebel, so I've got no real regrets there. Now, I'm not I'm not a pure YouTuber. I have a, a day job, as you can tell, but it's, so I'm not going to be you know, streaming all day Tuesday or anything else like that. But I mean, I know Bruffy is, Bruffy1322, GTA Man is, almost certainly going to be hitting that hard, so I'll be, I'll be consuming, consuming the streams with y'all as that happens. Looking forward to it. And let's see, what can we do here? Let's move the dune buggy into the back. Okay, let me have to, we have to get another one in here. the buggies in the back. It works for now. This orange one is the one that I stole and then used to get the ultra rare unbodied version of it that I still have someplace. I mean, theoretically, I could get rid of this, but where's the loyalty? I mean, without this buggy, I couldn't have gotten the other buggy, so two buggies. I'll just have to have two buggies, I guess, because I do, I do have an attachment to this one. The Mesa, that's going to get a repaint. This is going to get... I don't know. I don't know. There will be more discussions like this going forward. As it stands, I've only really liberated one car space here. Hmm. At least there's that. On that note, I beat myself up just driving around. Or was that from the previous, uh, the previous gun running episode? At any rate... This is your Black Knight. Looking forward to the new DLC. Have a great night.